Hey, you looking gorgeous. I'm trying to get to know you. What's up with you? No, it's okay. I'm good. Hey, do your thing then, all right? You have a nice day. A few moments later. Oh, yeah. Say it again? It's your time. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Okay, okay. I could cancel plans for you. I could cancel plans for me. I've been over. Gold diggers. No one likes them, but revenge is a dish best served cold. These gold diggers were caught in the act and their almost victims took the payback to unimaginably petty heights. Before we get into it though, kindly smash that like button and subscribe. This gold digger was sure she hit the jackpot, but she never expected this. So she married this dumb multimillionaire who agreed to a no prenup marriage. Oh lord. After five years of marriage, she filed for divorce thinking she would get half of his sweet millions. But then, she got the shocker of her life because they were already divorced. Wait for it. He was onto her the second she protested the prenup. So he arranged for them to get married and honeymoon in his mother's town in Dominican Republic, claiming it would make his mother happy. Our gold digger had no idea that in Dominica, it's legal to divorce your spouse without their knowledge, and she had already been divorced one month after their wedding. This millionaire left his bride at the altar for refusing to sign a prenup. You serious? Worth over $7 million, they had a conversation after he proposed, in which they both agreed to sign a prenuptial agreement. But after being served the papers, our bride-to-be began procrastinating. She'd make up an excuse every time he brought it up. In order not to be too pushy and seem like he didn't trust her, he stopped asking. But fast forward to the wedding day, she never expected this. Once he realized she had not signed it, he knew she never had any intentions to and that she was trying to pull a fast one on him. He immediately called off their $400,000 <gasps> wedding and left her at the altar. This pretty girl just got humiliated in the worst way possible. Cleo has been rejecting this simple looking guy for some time now. Each time he tried to get her attention, she would turn him down and reply coldly with, I don't do broke guys, fix yourself. Not long after, she ran into him at the mall, pulling up in his Rolls Royce Phantom, and she was shocked. She then approaches him and tries to start up a conversation, but he completely ignores her. Frustrated, she goes, you lied to me. So he stops, looks at her, and in a not-so-quiet voice goes, I don't do 304s, fix yourself. Which one of the paybacks slaps hardest for you? Leave your thoughts in the comments. 